Earlier we saw that we could understand the temperature dependence of rate constants conceptually using the Arrhenius equation. Now let's do a numerical example where we apply the Arrhenius equation. So in this problem we're given a rate constant at a particular temperature and we're asked to calculate it at a new temperature and we're given the activation energy. Now remember that the Arrhenius equation has two parameters. It has the activation energy, which we know, 60 kilojoules per mole, but also this pre-exponential factor. And in this problem, we're not given A. So you might think that we don't have enough information to do the problem. However, uh, if you think that when you have a problem, it's good to write everything out algebraically, and you'll usually find that the thing, one of the unknowns, will just cancel out and you have enough information. So let's just do some algebra and see if we can get rid of the pre-exponential factor and get our new rate constant at our new temperature. Since we're changing the temperature, let's define T prime as the new tire temperature and K prime as the K, the rate constant, at that new temperature. Now we can always divide an equation by another equation because by definition that means we're dividing both sides by something that's equal. So let's take the Arrhenius equation at the two different temperatures and divide one, the Arrhenius equation at one temperature by the Arrhenius equation at the other temperature. Okay, so we have the Arrhenius equation written out for original temperature and for a new temperature, T prime, we've got our new rate constant, K prime. All right, so we can see, as soon as we write it out, right away we can see that our pre-exponential factor cancels out. So we're not, we don't have to worry about the fact that we don't know that. So let's write out the result of, of this division. Okay, so we have to subtract the exponents from the top since we're dividing this by that. So we end up with 1 over t2 minus 1 over t1. Solving for k prime, the new rate constant. Before we plug any numbers in, we should make sure that this expression makes sense. So first, let's check our unit. We have reciprocal temperature here. And we're, we've got here joules per mole per Kelvin. So that's going to cancel to just give us joules per mole on the bottom. We've got joules per mole on the top, so that's going to cancel, which is good. This whole thing's going to be unitless because the argument of an exponential has to be unitless. And we've got k here, which will have the same units as k there. Let's put in our numbers. Notice that we have to use temperatures in Kelvins because we want to cancel Kelvins over here. Whenever we have uh, the Arrhenius equation, we want to use absolute temperature and not, uh, not Celsius or Fahrenheit or something like that, but always put it in Kelvins. Also notice that I've put the activation energy in joules because I want to cancel these joules with these joules down here, so don't leave it in kilojoules. Okay, so when we do all that, we end up that K prime, K prime is equal to 0 0.0068 one over seconds. So notice that the rate constant approximately doubled when we went up by 10 degrees C. That's a good rule of thumb if we have a typical sized activation energy and 60 kilojoules is, is roughly a, a typical size activation energy. Uh, if you have a much higher activation energy we'll find much bigger changes in rate constant with a 10 degree increase in temperature. So here's your example of using the Arrhenius equation.